saw when we went to the castle of Good Hope. Uh, that is was Chief Langalibaled. The man with the spear that was third from the left. Chief Langalibaled. So Chief Langalibaled was the was the chief from the Tlubi tribe. He was uh, living at the edge of between Zululand and Transkai in a town that was called Escort. He was the chief owning a big land and also leading the people of the Tlubi tribe. Years back, there were frontier wars on the coastline. There were the British people that were trying to conquer the land on the coastline. And they were fighting the black warriors with the guns, palm guns. And the warriors were fighting with the spear, short or long. But for the black warriors, it was not easy. It was the white men were fighting from, from a distance and shoot them. What was happening uh, um, when the industrialization started to grow? Remember that those people were, were living in the homeland. To come to the big cities, they had, to, they had their own passports. The passport was called Brown Book. It was a big brown book, uh, like a passport, but very thin, thick with your information. You from which, from, from who, what is your name, from which clan, from which uh, region, from which uh, village? Who is your headman in your village? How many kids you have? So that was that. So when industrialization started to grow, I'm talking about the mining industry. I'm talking about the wine industry on the coast and the petroleum industry. So people started to flock in, um, in, in Johannesburg and the northwest of Johannesburg and Cape Town. So, the people that were that were that were employed were employed in the mines had different uh, 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 job descriptions. Some of them were security guard, given the the, the the ammunitions or firearms. So they could, when they come back, when they have a, an ammunition, they would just leave immediately the mine and go back to the village with a gun because they. Because Chief Langalibalel was building his army to fight on the coastline. And then the mine industry, they find out that they, this, we, we don't have guns anymore now. They are just like taken away. They traced and then find out, oh, oh it's, it was the Chief Langalibalele's people that were stealing the guns or not retaining the guns. They went to escort police station and let Chief Langalibalele accountable for those lost guns. They called him, and he didn't want to go. They called him, he said he's not going. And uh, in 1748, they took him to court. And then apparently, he didn't want to be responsible. They took him to Robben Island. Remember that in those days, uh, people of that time, the, the textile industry was not as it is. So they were wearing animal skins. They, they took him to Robben Island. He stayed there. Winter times in Robben Island then. He got sick. He had a double pneumonia. He got sick. They took him out of the Robben Island. They, you might see those two pillars that was the cooling, the cooling station. But now it's a recycling center. There were two towers there. They were demolished in, in 2007. Behind that, there is a, there is a, a golf course. That's where the farm was, eight lakh farm. He died in that farm. They buried him there. So when industrialization started to grow in the, in the uh, close to 1900, 20th century, when people started to, they started to move in the cities, like for instance in Cape Town, petroleum industry started to grow, the wine industry started to grow, so they were bringing in people. So 
what the government thought of, they thought, what are we going to do with the black people? Because they are not going to stay with us. They thought, let us start a township. The first, first township in 1918. They started this road. Further down, you turn right to go up one street. Up there, they built about eight block of flats. In each block, having a, about 120 rooms. In each room, there were there were two beds, as small as a door. When you put the door down like this flat, that's your bed, very small. That's called the single bed in each room. So they would house them with that. And and upon that, there was a law that no women and children were allowed to come into the big cities. Only for men. Only, only males were allowed to come. And um, if you can just look on the left, if you can just look on the left, there is a foundation there. There's a concrete foundation. That foundation was a police station, just at the entrance of Langa. Where you see on the right the apartments, it just, this area was just um, uh, opened in 2015. It's new. She was asking about those little things at the top. Oh, the, these are the, uh, uh, what is it called, the geyser, the warm, the water. Oh, hot water tank. You water tank. Water tank. Water tank. Yeah. 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 We said that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. So, so on the right, mm -hmm. where the where the police barracks, where the policemen were staying, from home to work, they would just cross the road. So only men live in this development? No, they just no, just built now. I'm talking about the, the, the before. Yes, they before. The, so this one just built in 2015. Is this the government gave it to you, or you have to privately purchase? No, no, it's a, it's a government. So you, so you have project. to. So, huh? Like the project. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm coming there. Oh. Yeah, I'm coming there. So, so the policeman would just cross the road to come to work. What was, what, what was the purpose of that? That the police station was at the entrance. So, what, what was the policeman doing? They would go to those block of flats any time of the day to check if there were women and children that were there. Should they find a wife and a child, they would just take them to the custody without any trial. When a husband comes back from work, maybe he was working night shift or day shift, he would just pay 60 rands fee. Then, that was a lot of money. 60 rands fee to release you. And when you are released, the same day, you must be taken to the train station in town, back to the homeland. Because this is not your land. To the homeland. So, that was the case. but. Um, coming back to the population of Langa, Langa is about 99% Xhosa speaking people that are living here. It's about, according to the statistics of the last elections, it's about 55,000 people that are living in Langa. So if you can just look further, there's, an, there's a house, orange house with a red roof. That is called uh, 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 the Presbyterian Church. This, is, this was the first church that was built in Langa, people to attend in the 1930s. So I have a question. Yes. So only men were allowed to stay here. Yes. And then if you wanted to go home, you had to pay a fee to release your wife. To be released. Uh, After you get caught. Okay. Because so, should, should they find you in those flats that would men were living or staying, that you would be taken to jail. Yes, but I'm not talking about me as a woman. Yes. I'm talking about the men who were staying there. How often were they able to go home? So they would take a bus. They would take a bus in, in the train station in town and then go back home. But so how how often? often? When they're on holiday. Oh. Which is uh, once a year? January Yeah, 1st. once a year. Because, because I didn't have a relationship with my father because he would come to Cape Town to work in January and come back for two weeks in December. So did you did you have an issue with the women and children being unprotected in the village? Did something happen to them? As a in the village, having, no. Having in the in, in, in the village, there was peace because the structure the structure of the government was very, very good in Transkei because we had a very very good 
uh, government because we, we were independent. In the village. Yes, Where in the villages. Live. We were not depend we were not under the government of the republic. We were in the independent. I'm confused. I'm confused too. I the think she's, she's trying to ask you that children. when when the men are taken and forced to live with our women and children. Yes. What is the life like for the women and children who remain in village with no man? Yeah. Exactly. You all oh, oh, now oh now oh now I understand. Right? Yeah. No, that's that's what you were asking, right? Is I, that, I, don't, I was saying that when you force men to live without their families, without women and children, yeah. what is what is the effect of the women in the village? Like you said, you were a child, you were a father. What is child. the effect of the sexuality of the men? I was going really yeah, slow, yeah. but thank you, sister. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, what happens? All these are these, are these men going to be men who, who don't have access to their are these wives? Men are yeah, men? And what cool. do the women do? Are they comfort <laughs> women? Like, what's what's what is the no, social life of a man this, here the, with no woman for a year? No, the, 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 when we were growing up, the life was normal. The to, child life. To, you. Even to my mothers, to our mothers. She just lives with her husband all the time. No, Novel. no. She would meet her husband when she comes back. When he comes back in December. So once a year. Once a so year. So every child so is made once, once a year. Once a year. So every I'm child is made once a year. Five babies at a time. It 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 was some some other people had the the, the different uh, uh, months to have leave. Some would come in December. Some would come in June. Some would come in February. Where the the, 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 so, but, the holidays were different. But, but so most, for most, for most men, M most men would come in December. But most men don't wait for sex once a year. What happens here? What happens here? There were there, there, were, there were no women here. No, not even working women. No. Wandering the street women. No street no. workers. No. So we're just we're just. It was just men. A it relationship men. of chastity. So a a, a population of full chastity. For a year till they went home to their wives. Yes. I need a man with this. Wow. Do you have any Are you kidding me? I'm serious. I'm gonna ask somebody else. If you can have a man with this integrity, <laughs> I, I will marry him today. <laughs> Please. I'm gonna ask somebody else. Like, Whoa. You have a man that can have sex, not have sex for a year. Once a year, everybody has sex. Okay. Okay. Once a year. And, 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 and they keep smiling and saying that. And they did that because. Because the, the military told you to. They buy you and tell you to have sex once a year. They're in charge. I mean, because you, you have to work. I I'm, I hope you go home rich. And, <laughs> and I don't know. I hope you, what? A year? Okay, and, of course. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's still just and, and they're paying, and they're paying some type of rent to be in these places. You pay rent. The men that come in to work, are they also paying to stay there? Well, well, that, well. I'm ma, sorry, I don't ma, mean to be aggressive. Ma, my father, no, no, I'm fine. Okay. My, my, my father was paying 20 rands a month. Okay, so this is some type of alteration of sharecropping. This is deep. It so is. yeah, so the person that lives here pays, they pay 20 rands a month and then they give the rest of the money to the family. No, no, these, no, I'm talking about, I'm, I'm talking about, I'm talking about those years when, when women and children were not allowed. I'm coming back well, to that when I'm Nelson Mandela came doing. out, everybody with Allah was allowed to come. Okay. Yes. So when Melson Mandela comes out, that's when people are allowed to have their women yes, come visit. Yes. So visitation begins yes. at the release of Nelson Mandela. Vi visitation actually started around 1988 when Sorry, things started to come down, and then women were allowed to come because because the the Nelson Mandela was was um, was about to come out of jail because uh, the the prime minister of that time, F. W. D. Clark, was uh, released a statement that Mandela is about to be released, and then. Things started, and a lot of political parties were opened to 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 talk in public, and then a lot of things were were allowed, and then women started to to come around 19 end of 1988, 89. Then women started to come and stay freely. Okay, but this started what in the 30s? What when did this community start? Start or oh, officially Langa was officially opened in 1927 as a town. So from 1927 to 1980 something. Oh my goodness. We got 60 years of men staying here for months. I'm sorry, I'm American. For I, for, you know, for 11 I've been months. I'm born in America, and this is really confusing to us. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be offensive. And and and, and we grow up interacting. We have yeah. a much more explicit yeah. um, culture. Yeah. So. My apologies, you know, I don't mean to be offensive. I just want the answers. And yeah. so if I am transgressing the boundaries, no, I'm fine. I'm then fine. by all means, you don't tell me. No, I'm but, fine. Any question. But, but it is very mysterious yeah. to an American woman that a man can survive. <laughs> um, for, 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 for survive. <laughs> that, 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 that he can survive without sex for a year and not be very aggressive. 
angry and possibly extremely <laughs> dangerous. I mean, <laughs> I just want the man. Like, I've been waiting for this man all my life. Like, I don't think this they man can go for sex without a year. Like, I need help. <laughs> is he that loyal? Like, where is he at? He's like, let me get off the bus and but, get him now. But, but, like, there's no women around. There, but the, the, the other thing, the other okay. part to that right. is the woman and children separated from her man. Yes. As I've said to you, as I've said to you that I didn't have a relationship that's what I'm with saying. my father. I would yeah. say my father. So that was and, part and, of the and, destruction and, and, of the family. And, and, and when my right. father and, and everything right. that I didn't do right, is, yeah. my mother would say to me, your father is coming in December. Means. Your father is coming. Everyone, yeah. Yeah. Your father is coming. And, and I feared my father that if I didn't do this, my father is going to punish me for this. That was the situation. And she could say that to you six months ahead of time. Yeah. That he was coming in December. She's writing it down. She said in December when he comes, I'm going to tell him all the things he does. Because then technology was not like this. My father would write a letter oh. would take about three to four weeks to reach my mother <laughs> and then my mother would answer because my mother was illiterate my father was illiterate mm -hmm. when 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 if my father was staying with someone who maybe who had about maybe standard four so this is who like could write and, and then my father would just go to that man and say whatever he's saying that like man was writing. writing he's like he's making a statement in the police station yeah. and affidavit he was, my father would just talk to, he's like he's talking to my mother and then that guy is writing and then he would close the letter and then send it to the post, uh, post office that other side my father my mother is, is, is taking someone to read that letter to her and then she responds like he's making an affidavit at the police station he's talking that 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 lady is writing then that that was like that right that's how they communicate yeah they were illiterate so, so the intimacy of the letter is omitted because it's coming to a third party. That, there's can't probably speak there's, there's to probably a person in the community that actually did that. Never, never if, you were, if you were if you were actually able to read and write, that's probably something that you did as a service to the community. I mean, I'm like, what's your question? Because I mean, but that's okay. Country. That's that happens all the time. You have you have uh, Spanish speaking um, born here. The, the kids are unfortunately exposed to everything because they go to every appointment. Your mother has to go get welfare. You got to bring your, your, your kids miss school right. because only the kid feels, speaks English. So you'll find that it's like Hispanics, the firstborn, is usually has a lot of trauma because every secret, every like police report for d domestic right. violence, the daughters in there translate. Now we're getting better now if you're in a major community or city where they have translation services. <laughs> but let you be in some small but town. It's older than that because I wrote for my grandparents. Yeah, but I mean like right now, this so, is 2023 in America. You you got your firstborn in there telling the cops what happened because they don't have the integ they don't have the integrity to make sure that they have a translator. They have the child doing the stories. Okay. Yeah. Wait a minute. Did they send okay. their how did they take care of their families? How did the men? How does the money reach back home? Take care of their families. How did they take care of their wife and children? That they in terms of, of of providing them with providing, something, yeah. they would send money. How well, they this, could how send money go? through the letter. They would send. Um, they, 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 they would just uh, take the money into the envelope oh. and write. And, and, and put in the post. And it would reach. It would reach. They used to reach until recently. People were honest Back. in the yesterday. They were, they was honest. Do you remember you got Christmas card you going Sometimes. Now no more, they're opening. <laughs> Sometimes if there was a bus, if maybe in, in those block of flats that they were living in, there was a man who was very close to his village, he would just take it money and give Drop it to it him off. so wow. that he might drop to, to his wife and kids. Wow. Okay. Um, I feel like now you send money. Families yes, there, there were there were different guys so from dif a, from different system. villages, but they they were treated like they were treating each other like a brother. Like brother. They would come from the same town, know each other's village, and then mm. if if he's given money, he would just take a day in between to to reach his family. That was the way. That was the Honest way. System. Yeah. So since everyone got there, how would they like yeah. a different? Yeah, and 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 There's always somebody. And and my mother would, and my mother would keep money for six months to use that money that he was given. He was very strict with money. Yeah, oh, like wow. with yeah. yeah. he was yeah. very strict with money, and uh, and 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 the other thing that was very very strong in our time when we were growing up was was agriculture and farming. It was very strong. They, they everything so that food. everything that we eaten eating with vegetables fresh from the garden. Um, if we wanted um, uh, meat, they would slaughter a sheep fresh from the crown. Everything was, and we were content with that. And the lifestyle, yes. we were content with yeah. the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, and go like like I remember when I was in the in the, in the lower primary, I would walk from here. 
up until the the hill day every day like like I, I would walk about maybe 40 k's 40 kilometers a day going to school and back i was maybe about about eight nine years yeah. then i mean it was the time in my country yeah so yeah 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 we, we with us everything was 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 good for us we we didn't see anything that was wrong yeah. you see yeah, it, I don't see yeah wrong with we, now. yeah we, exactly. we, we, yeah we no were content time, no, yeah we were content with that it, it was our lifestyle we would go <laughs> to school laughing and playing and come back we wouldn't even feel that we were going everywhere walking long distances okay. yeah. yeah but wow. it was bad in winter yeah. okay. because there was no transport but the, the challenge was the shoes the, that was the challenge was the shoes okay. shoes because we would walk long distance and my father would buy me one pair of shoes a year. Okay. Yeah, and uh, and uh, when we, my father was buying me Christmas clothes, and if my father buying me Christmas clothes, he would buy me a, a school shirt, um, uh, the grey trouser, the grey sh- uh, socks, and the black shoes. That was my Christmas. It's not like today, where your kids you buy them from like these expensive stores. They don't want this. They want that. We were we, we we were content with what we yes. bought that was bought for us and we were happy about and this that. Is everyone. Yeah. Yes. We we appreciated that. <coughs> but, no no we, we what what we're gonna do my brother, we're just gonna walk drive on the circle left and then straight down right and then we j- And the, and the, and the other thing while 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 this guy is driving the, the, the other thing is in 1960 as, as I've said that the people were were, were, were were had to have their passports uh, around their necks when they are coming to town to work in the town they had to have their passports every day to be to be identified that they were not from this from they were from the homeland so in 1960 Robert Sobukwe um, proclaimed and said to the people of South Africa, all men that were in the cities, they must go to the police station to ask for a peaceful arrest because this is not human that from the land of our forefathers we walk as foreigners. Everybody must go to the police station on the 21st of March to ask for a peaceful arrest because we cannot carry passports in our own country. So and then here in Langa police station was here and then in Soweto to Sharpville people marched to the police station on that day men here in Langa we about uh, about about 30,000 people marched were marching to this police station straight down brother we're marching to this police station take around the block ar- around they, they they were walking to this police station and then in Sharpville in Soweto or in Johannesburg the, who Robert Sobuku. Yes. Mm. So on the on the thirty on the thirty on the twenty first of March nineteen sixty, police in in Langa killed people. They came and shot them before they marched. So they knew they were going. They knew. How did they know that? They they because it was announced on the radio. Oh okay. So they came to those block of flats where we are going mm. and then they shot those people uh, m- more than 15,000 died and then the others people yeah. in got injured stop stop my brother they want to take pictures so, so yes family so welcome to langa so so can we get off? yeah we can get off. Okay. so more than more than 15,000 died in langa and in, in johannesburg more than 30,000 died it was called the langa massacre it was called the Shabi Langa Massacre, but the government of democracy changed the name to be the Human Rights Day. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.